Masking can sometimes be really tough, with some tasks being straightforward, while others a little bit more complex. But don't worry, because today I've got 5 fantastic masking tricks that I'll be sharing with you. So get ready to learn and let's get on with it. Sometimes you might want to remove certain people or objects from your footage. Like a flamingo in a pool, for instance. To do this, first make a copy of the clip by holding down Alt key and dragging it upwards. Next, select the copy and go to the effects control panel. Choose opacity and use the pen tool to draw a mask around the object in the program monitor. But make sure to leave some extra space around the object when drawing the mask. Once you've completed the mask, move it to a spot where only the water is visible. After that, go back to the effects controls and adjust the mask position until it's completely covering the object. Finally, increase the mask feather, but be careful not to overdo it or the object may still be visible. And there you have it, the object is now gone from your video. When it comes to face masking, tip number two, it's all about enhancing the color of person's face or matching it with the rest of their body in a video. To achieve this, first select the video and go to the Lumetric color. Within the basic correction panel, adjust the color settings such as temperature and saturation, as well as the light settings like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows and whites. Once satisfied with the results, move to the effect controls, select the Lumetric color and use the pen tool to draw a mask around the face in the program monitor. After finishing, increase the mask feather a bunch and track the mask by hitting the forward button on the first frame. Now this is before and after applying the mask. Tip number 3 involves hiding objects that you don't want to reveal in your video. For example, if someone doesn't want their car's place to be visible in the video, here's a way how to hide it. To start, duplicate the clip by holding the Alt key and dragging it upwards. Then choose the top clip and access the effects panel. Type in Gaussian Blur and then drag and drop it onto the clip. In the effect controls, adjust the blurriness until the license plate is no longer visible. Next, reduce the opacity to about 45 and use the pen tool to create a mask around the license plate. Once you have finished creating the mask, return to the mask properties and track it forward. And that's how you can easily hide anything in your videos. Now, let's move to tip number 4 which focuses on text masking. To start, make sure your text and rectangle shape are on the same layer. Use the Light and Transform tool in the Essential Graphics panel to center them in the program monitor. And also ensure that the shape layer is above the text layer. Then select the shape layer, go to the Mask with Shape option and choose Mask Only Fill. And when you turn on the Stroke option, this will create a transparent rectangle box. Next, open the text settings in the Effect Control panel and under Transform, move the text to the left until it disappears from the box. Create a keyframe, move forward 10 frames and bring the text back into the box. And by doing that, this will create a second keyframe automatically. Now to animate the shape layer, go back a few frames and open the shape layer settings. Turn off the uniform scale, set the horizontal scale to 0 and create a keyframe. Move forward 10 frames and set the horizontal scale back to 100. And to adjust the timing between the shape and the text layer, you can move the keyframes forward or backwards if needed. Then to create the text outro, copy the second keyframe of the text and place it a few frames forward. After that, move forward another 10 frames and drag the text to the right until it disappears from the box. And now to create the shape outro, move the cursor a few frames after the text disappears, go back to the horizontal scale and create a keyframe with 100% value. Move forward another 10 frames and create the last keyframe with a value of 0. And finally, select all keyframes, left click, temporal interpolation and ease in, then left click again and ease out so we can make the animation a bit smoother. And using this masking method, you can create some cool text animations. And here comes the final tip, which is blending. This is the most complex tip so far, but I guarantee you that you're gonna learn how to blend multiply videos or videos with images and go from something like this to this. For example, you could have a video of a lake and mountains and an image of a castle in the desert. And if you want to blend this footage, here's what you need to do. First, drag the castle image over the video and go to the effect control panel. Scroll down to the opacity and use the pen tool to draw a mask around the castle. And here, take your time to make it look just right. Then go back to the mask properties and adjust the mask feather to make it look natural. And now to make it even better, it's time to match the colors. So go to the Lumetric color panel and select the color wheels and match. Click on the comparison view button, then select the lake video and from the program monitor on the left, drag the slide to the image you want to match the colors with. Once you've done that, return to the color wheels and press apply match. And now we can finally say that it looks much better. 
But what if I add some birds flying by the castle and some music sound effects to really bring it to life? Wow, and now it really looks perfect. And by the way, the visual effects that I used for the last example are from Production Crate and I just wanted to give them a shout out because I think it's a great place where you can find thousands of visual effects and also sound effects as well. And the best thing about it is that you can sign up for free and download stuff for free, absolutely free. So you don't need to pay anything. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description down below. And just to qualify, they're not sponsoring the video. And that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you gained some new knowledge today. And if you did so, please show the support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.